Jump ahead coach David Wilson from Emory and Henry College men's basketball. They were picked number five in this year's preseason poll. But coach, maybe the most important thing from that is you're coming off the program's first ODAC title last year, NCAA game for the first time since 1993. Talk a little bit about that experience last year, if you can, looking back on it and how hungry your guys are to do it again here in the new season. It was special. Um, one of the things that made it special was that we did it at Emory and Henry. And uh, we, I think our it meant just to, to us, it meant a little bit more just because of the support we've received from our alumni and our um, campus community and our surrounding community. It's such a special place, and uh, that made it a little extra special for us just to share that with the community at Emory and Henry. Um, you know, obviously, a lot of achievements and accomplishments that we're proud of from last year, um, you know, winning the championship, playing in the NCAA tournament, national ranking, those kinds of things that those will always be memorable for our guys. But for me as the coach, um, personally, the things that I'll always remember is just the way our guys went about getting to those points. Um, you know, their consistency. We, we rarely had a bad practice. I just thought our focus and energy every day was really impressive. Um, you know, our, our commitment to things on and off the floor. I mean, not only did they win an ODAC championship, but they had a 3.0 team GPA. And, and just things that they took care of um, because they wanted to do things the right way. And then the way that that group handled adversity was really special. Uh, we, we had a five-game losing streak going into the tournament. We had a lot of injuries we were dealing with during the tournament. And there was just a resolve and a commitment to, to achieve their mission um, that was really inspiring to me. Uh, anytime I think about it. So, so those are the things as an old coach here that are really special to me. When we take a look at this season's squad, several players back from that team to help kind of guide the way, but you do have some pieces you have to replace. Talk a little bit about who you expect to be your next set of leaders to kind of step up for you to keep you at the top of the ODAC this year. It's one of the fun things about college basketball is every team is a new team. Every year you have a new team. And this year is certainly no exception. Um, but I'm really excited about a lot of the guys we have coming back from last year's team. We definitely lost some guys to a, a, a good senior class last year. But, um, you know, we have a, a wonderful senior class this year. They're doing a great job with leadership. Uh, Jars Hendricks, Andrew Davis, and Alec Wynn. Um, really proud of the way they've started off this season. Um, and then we have some guys in some of the other classes. Um, uh, guys like Colin Molden and Theron Suggs and Daniel Spencer, who played a big role in our team last year. And um, I'm expecting them to take steps forward from where they were last year and to continue to progress and get better. And then we have some guys that uh, maybe didn't play as much last year um, in our returning group that I think will step in and help us as well. Uh, we have six freshmen, and um, we're certainly expecting to have some of those guys step in and contribute as well. So, you know, it's a... We, we've got a long way to go in terms of getting on the same page and um, you know, developing an identity, but we're trending in the right direction and their attitude has been getting better and better every day and I'm excited about the potential. I think this group has a great amount of potential, but we've got to keep working to, to get together on the same page and, and play the way we need to play. Coach, as we look to wrap things up here a little bit, let's take a look at the league as a whole this season. Obviously, the guy standing atop the most recent ODAC mountain is you, but it took a lot to get there. We know how tough the ODAC is, but the problem that we saw from last year, we've seen the last couple of years, we've only had one team get to the NCAA tournament. So is this the year that we get that second team in to be back like when we had four, five, six years ago getting multiple teams in, and how tough is the league? Yeah, it's hard to know exactly how that's going to shake out. I definitely think there's going to be teams in our league this year that can play in the NCAA tournament. I think there's going to be multiple teams that can do that. And, but, it, you know, things have to shake out. We need to do well in our non-conference. Um, you know, one thing that's tough about our league is we beat each other up a little bit. Um, but, you know, I think we need to have a good start. And, and uh, you know, I think we, we're fully capable of that. Um, you know, the league is, is, has a great national reputation. And it's well deserved, and uh, that's because you have great talent in our league, and you have great coaching, and just great tradition. The thing that's that I think has improved about our league in the recent history is just the the parity and the balance. And so um, I, I think this year will be very similar to the previous years in that regard, where it's going to be hard to predict who's going to finish where. There's going to be a lot of close games. It's going to be a lot of excitement, and I think ODAC fans will really enjoy watching how things unfold this year. Well, Coach, I want to thank you for joining me today, and good luck this season. Thanks.